conversation on Judaism. All right. Uh, the notes for this chap for this lesson, what I would like you to do um, is kind of make a web. Okay, so in the middle of the web, um, we have our main topic of Judaism, all right, or the religion uh, that people who we call Jews follow. Okay, um, from there, you're going to have what we have are their beliefs. Okay. And then also we're going to talk about the impact uh, that Judaism had uh, on the world and today. Okay, so again from there you're going to have the supporting details. Okay, again remember these lines just represent uh, an example. This is not exactly what will be in uh, the lesson or in the notes, how many of those, but just to kind of give you a brief look at what the notes shall look like. All right, let's begin. All right, so with Judaism, uh, the beliefs, okay? Uh, their first belief was that God had complete co complete power, all right? This is very similar to kind of what other religions believed in, but they believed that their gods had complete power. In Judaism, again, remember, it's monotheistic, so they believe in only a god or the god, okay? Um, that God made a covenant uh, with Abraham, all right, so he made this pact with Abraham that if you follow um, my laws, which are the ten, the ten Commandments, and your people go out and preach my code of ethics, uh, then you shall be saved and have a great life. Okay, um, so that's where a lot of the beliefs uh, of the of the Jews come from. Okay, so. Impact. So, how did all of this impact us? Well, uh, first of all, there was this diaspora, all right, or a spreading of the Jews uh, in early history. We kind of talked about that when the Assyrians and Nebuchadnezzar spread uh, the Jews throughout Babylonia and Assyria, and kind of made them uh, leave their homeland. All right, so they spread to many different parts of the world. Okay, um, and because of this, then they're going to kind of other countries and nations and civilizations are going to be interested in maybe what they have to say because at the time there's not really anybody else who's talking about uh, monotheism. It's all about polytheism. And so this really interests a lot of people. Um, and then it goes into influence the beliefs of Christianity and Islam. Okay, um, If you've ever read the Bible, if you are a Christian, uh, you'll know that the Old Testament of the Bible is very similar to the Torah or the Holy Book of the Jews. And also within Islam in the Quran, it speaks of the people uh, of the book. Um, I think it's what it says, uh, where, you know, they're talking about Jews. Okay. So this idea of monotheism, because both, both Christianity and Islam practice the belief in a God, um, just, as well, just as long as the Jews so this is how it kind of influences uh, Christianity and Islam today. <laughs> All right. So if we look here at our map, um, yay maps. Uh, so this is the diaspora. Okay. So we'll notice that you know here is where um, Judaism starts. All right. But you notice that all of these purple areas uh, are areas where the Jews were eventually put or settled down into. Okay. Ooh, look at that. There's some Jews over here in Rome. Hmm, that might be of interest later in history. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Uh, so just n notice that, you know, they ended up spreading all around uh, mo the modern-day world uh, because of, you know, their beliefs and what other people believed in them or believed of their beliefs, uh, which they weren't really too happy about. <laughs> okay, so make sure you bring your notes to class. Uh, we'll dive a little bit more into this. Uh, but not too much because I don't want to give away the rest of the year to you right away. Uh, so bring your notes, and if you have any questions, ask them in class. Talk to you later.